Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, this is X here. As you can see, I've changed the name of my channel. I hope that this name is a little bit more marketable. Uh, hopefully you can find me a little bit easier and also I hope that um, this name change will increase my views if possible. So um, I, th I think that this is something great in the beginning. Pardon me. <laughs> I'm hoping that this is the beginning of something great. So, nonetheless, I'm, I've got another video for you today. I'm going to bring to you my top 10 fragrances that I'm going to be wearing this fall of 2017. I've got five honorable mentions. I'm just going to browse through them as quickly as I can. First one is from the house of Giamanchi. It's uh, the only fragrance, one of the few fragrances that brings powder in a very attractive way, and that is Givenchy Pie. Next fragrance uh, I'm sure you all know to love is uh, a lot of the community, the fragrance communities, or one of the fragrance community's favorite signature scents, the Boozy uh, Burnt Sugar Accord CH Men. Next fragrance is from the house of Ju Juicy Couture. It is a nice take on a dirty leather, and I love to wear this fragrance myself. It is Dirty English. The fourth one comes from the house of Mont Blanc. It is the more wearable version of Jupe Homme, or Yop Homme, I should say, and that is Individual. The last one, it comes from the house of Cadillac, believe it or not. Um, not too many people talk about this, and it is none other than Cadillac for men. Um, what this fragrance smells like, just in a nutshell, think of a sweeter, less obnoxious version of P.S., and also think of a less citrusy, and a, a less citrusy version of Caron's uh, Traze Am with more vanilla and added vetiver to it. So those are my honorable mentions. Let's get started with the list. My number 10 fragrance comes from the house of Dolce Gabbana. It is one of the most underrated fragrance in the list and it is none other than Dolce Gabbana's The One Gentleman. What you get with this fragrance is uh, a hint of the one DNA along with uh, some, a little bit of musk, some, a hint of vanilla, and along with some black pepper. Uh, very great fragrance, I should say. Um, oftenly gets eclipsed by uh, the one Eau de Toilette and Eau de Parfum. So definitely, definitely full bottle worthy. Uh, for the fall. Number nine comes from the house of Jacques Bogart and it is none other than City Tower. What this fragrance is is a cross between Azaro's Visit, Midnight in Paris, and along with Bulgari Black. Um, speaking of Bulgari Black, this is to me a more professional and more wearable version of Bulgari Black. Um, the leather note in this isn't as obnoxious as Bulgari Black and definitely one of my go-to scents. Um, I get compliments on it, uh, not panty dropper compliments, but oh, that's that, that kind of smells nice. So City Tower at number nine. My number eight fragrance comes from the house of Bentley. I'm sure you all know this fragrance. It is Bentley Intense. Um, a lot of people say this it, it gets compared to uh, or has similarities to Chambray Noir, and I can't really speak on that since I haven't smelled Chambray Noir. Uh, Chambray Noir, pardon me. Uh, especially since it's so expensive, but definitely I think this is a very nice grapefruit cinnamon scent. 
uh, great performance, great projection and longevity. Definitely worth getting your uh, in anybody's arsenal. Bentley Intense at number eight. Number seven is a two-way tie between uh, another two set of another set of work scents that I like to go to a lot in the fall. And it is a tie between Boss Bottled Intense, the Eau de Toilette, and the Eau de Parfum. Uh, I slightly prefer the Eau de Parfum a little more because it's a little deeper, a little richer, and the spices are a little more noticeable. But their both versions are, like E of Simply Put Sense put it, both versions are very good and are great compliment garners. So Boss Bottled Intense coming in at number seven. Number six is a fragrance from the House of Lalique. Um, a lot of people compare this to Gucci Guilty Absolute, and to me this is a more wearable version of Gucci Guilty Absolute, and that is Encre Noir a la Extreme. I can't tell you guys how classy this scent is. Um, Sebastian of Looking, Feeling, Smelling Great put it at his best. This is definitely class in a bottle. Um, in comparison to Gucci Guilty Absolute, uh, beside it, this one's less polarizing, a little bit more greener, and a little bit woodier. And I do enjoy this a lot. Uh, one of the few scents that I like to actually wear for myself as to uh, wearing scents to please others. So, definitely worth checking out. Get a sample of this if you can. And uh, feel free to let me know what you think of it. Entrepreneur a la Extreme coming in at number six. Number five, my number five fragrance comes from the house of Baldessarini. And it is none other than Ombre. When you think of the smell of Ombre, think of a sweeter, boozier version of CH Men without the grass without the florals and with less patchouli. Uh, gr great date scent. Uh, also can be worn to the office as well. Uh, gr another great boozy scent for the fall. Bald uh, Baldessarini's Ombre coming in at number five. My number four fragrance is a, another t my last tie. It's a uh, a set of fragrances that I hold truly, true and dear to my heart, and that is a tie between Azaro Pour Homme, the original, and Azaro Pour Homme Intense. Uh, these, if you think these two fragrances are similar, they are actually completely different. This is a more drier, uh, spicier take on citrus, um, slight and slightly herbal in a way. Yeah, this is a drier, more herbal take on citrus, and this is a, a sweet, uh, think of a less boozier version of ombre spiced with cinnamon for uh, the intense version. So these coming in at number five, definitely worth checking out. I'm sorry, number four. Pardon me. Number three fragrance is from the house of Baldessarini as well. And it is none other than Strictly Private. My gosh, guys, I have to tell you, this fragrance is, I normally don't say this, but this fragrance is classy and sexy at the same time. I normally don't use the word sexy a lot, but um, it, it has a, a beautiful creme belay accord. And uh, to me, this is one of the most underpriced fragrances that you can buy. I would say it's around the $25 to $30 range for 100 ml. So definitely go check this one out if you can. My number two fragrance is from the house of Corone. Uh, a house that to me is gets overlooked quite a lot in the community. This was mentioned to me by... 
Victoria Jen of OMG, and I would link her. Her, I would have linked her review down below, but she's deleted her channel as of this recording. And the fragrance I'm talking about is Traze Am, also known as the Third Man. This is a slightly sweet, but also fresh uh, type of barbershop scent. With you get lemon, you get uh, I believe chamomile and some other soft florals, but this fragrance does not smell feminine in any way. And even if you don't like barbershop scents, I definitely suggest you uh, try sampling this one. You'll be so quite surprised. So Traze Am, the third man, coming in at number two. My number one fragrance is from the House of Versace. I'm not going to give you the note breakdown, but to me, I know some of you are going to laugh, but to me, this would be the rapper Lloyd Banks' signature scent. And in case you don't know who Lloyd Banks is, uh, Google him and uh, see how he dresses in his videos. And I'm talking about Versace's The Dreamer. A great fragrance, guys. It may smell a bit synthetic, but... It has a very beautiful sillage. And, and, and my gosh, God, everyone, the sillage of this is absolutely priceless. So quick run back. The One Gentleman at number 10. City Tower at number 9. Bentley Intense at number 8. Boss Bottled Intense, EDT and EDP at number seven. We've got Encre Noir Extreme at number six. Baldessarini's Ombre at number five. Azaro Pour Homme Original and Intense at number four. You've got Strictly Private at number three. You've got Traze Am, The Third Man at number two. And you've got The Dreamer at number one. So that's it, guys. Those are my top ten fragrances for the fall of 2017. Let me know what you think of these fragrances down in the comment section. Do you like them, love them, hate them? And as always, don't forget to like and subscribe as you're browsing your way through. And I will see you all, everyone, on the next video. Take care and have a great day. I'll see you soon.